Hi there. Welcome to the third exercise in Form Drawing Friday. Today I want to talk about rhythmically structured movement, what in Kutzli's book is called resolving and binding of the line. So in the first uh, exercise we had resolving, uh, which is basically just doing a release of a line. So a straight line. And then once we start going on to the binding, that means holding back. So effectively, it's what we did in the next exercise, which is creating the little bump where we were holding back. And that's what this exercise today is about as well. So when we start with the resolving and binding of the line, we go along with the line and then we have a little pause where we bind, then we go along with the line, have a little pause where we bind, and go along with the line, have a little pause where we bind. So this is the release and then the hold back and the release and then we hold back and we release the line and we hold back a bit and then we release again. And Effectively, what this does is it starts creating a rhythm and it creates a rhythm in the sense, as I hope you can see, that when you go along your line, then you come to a slight stop, not complete, but you slow down and you go along your line and you slow down a bit and you go along your line and you slow down a bit and so on. So, obviously, when you have your rhythm here that you're creating, the speed with which you're going is important. So, it's important that you don't go slowly and at a steady speed all the way because as you can see although I'm getting the same movement in my line here it's not very rhythmic if I just go like this the same speed slowly but at the same speed neither should you go fast At the same speed so if you can go you can obviously go really fast but at the same speed that's not good either what we want is we want an increase a slight increase we want to go release and then slow down release and then slow down release and then slow down release and of course, once you've started mastering your resolve and your bind in a rhythmic movement, you can start working with increasing your bind. So as you can see in this line, I've increased my bind. So the bind is this part here, is essentially that part, that's the bind. And the release is, is this part here. So release and bind, release and bind, release, bind, release, bind, release. So once you've started mastering, creating your movement rhythmically and structurally then you can start as I said increasing the bind and you can increase it quite a bit of course how many binds you put into your line will also affect the rhythm so release bind release bind release, 
bind, release, bind, release. So in this line, your release gets shorter as your bind gets longer and larger in size. So you can play with that um, until next time, making your bind and release close together and further apart and see what that means for your rhythm as you're doing it. It's not so important if you go over the lines exactly. The important thing is that you feel the rhythm as you're doing this exercise. That is the absolute most important thing at this stage, that you feel that rhythm. So hope you've enjoyed th this little exercise and maybe I'll see you next Friday. <laughs>